if he starts crying, we're leaving. That one is pretty cool. Oh. <laughs> Are you drinking it? We're all in San Antonio. We decided to take like a little spontaneous trip. And we were supposed to go to town for our anniversary, for our 10 year anniversary. But Anthony was working and he had like two different jobs going at one time. So we decided to postpone it until those jobs ended. And then we didn't know when those jobs were gonna end. So it was literally just a day by day type of situation. And then this doodle head over here decided to get um, food poisoning. He had the chills, he had a fever, he was like dying. And so I was like, all right, whatever, we're not, we're not gonna be able to go on a trip. It's not gonna happen, whatever, he's sick. But then he was looking up symptoms of food poisoning and apparently he had some bad guac. So he was like deathly ill for like two days. I literally am the most like organized planner, I guess. Like I like to have a plan. I like to know what's going on. I like to do my research. I like to like do things way in advance, right? Well, since I didn't even know if we were gonna go on the trip, I didn't plan a single thing. So we planned literally everything last night. And now we're here. But we're also not normally travelers, by the way, okay? Usually whenever we travel, someone else is doing all the booking. We don't book anything. We literally just pay the money and show up, right? So we didn't really know how to go about booking a hotel other than like Googling places in this area because we knew like we wanted to be on the San Antonio River Walk and I want to go to like Legoland and the Sea Life and like all these little attractions that are right here. And Anthony had two mandatories, right? He said it has to have breakfast, like inclusive breakfast, and it has to have an indoor pool. So a lot of them had outdoor pools, but none of, this was literally the only one with an indoor pool. And the reason we wanted an indoor pool specifically is because we have Bubba with us. We wanted this trip to be very just chill and just go with the flow and like not a strict itinerary. Yeah, so there's all that. And we ended up packing like late, 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 late last night, booking everything late, 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 late last night, like after Elias went to sleep. So we just came to the hotel and we were thinking in our heads that this was like, I mean, we knew it wasn't gonna be like super bougie, right? But like, we thought it was gonna be nicer than what it is. And when, when I tell you we pulled up <laughs> and our reaction was like, oh. Like to the point that I was looking up the cancellation policy. It's not terrible, but it's, it's not, it's not the best, but it's, also, it's not terrible, okay? This is the front door. You have this hallway. There's like some random window right here. And then going into the room, there's like this open area, it has like a mini fridge, a microwave, um, a little coffee maker, so on. It has two big ass body mirrors. And then they did offer to give us this crib, which is nice. That's something else that we had to make sure that they had because this little boy will not sleep in a bed. If he lays in a bed with us, he thinks it's playtime. So anyways, there's this little area. There's like this little desk thing, TV, and then a king size bed. So anyways, I'm gonna, let's go see if this indoor pool is the spot, cause that's kind of what sold us on this entire motel, or hotel. Why do I keep saying, what's the difference between a hotel and a motel? I don't know. I feel like a motel is like- Cheap. Cheap and ghetto, <laughs> and then like a hotel is like a resort nice, or something. Sir. I don't know. We it. It's like, it's so hot. Wow, there's a hot tub. It's not dirty. It's not dirty. Okay. And it's empty. There's literally nobody in here. It's not as bad as what I was expecting. But it's like completely empty in here. Which is nice. Yeah. Are we gonna go swimming today? Or what do you, want you wanna to go walking around the river walk and stuff? Okay.
like six, seven. Okay, so like six or seven, and it was two of them, and they were sisters. And Elias ran over and was like playing and stuff, and then ended up making friends with them, and so they all started like hanging out or whatever. And so he, they were like holding his hand and helping him down the stairs, and like just, I don't know, just being kids, right? And then they came to right in front of me, and they were all playing, and the girls were sitting on their knees on the ground, like at his level, and you can see him just walk up to them, and he goes, like he's about to try to kiss one, and then and she kind of like, oh, no, 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 because she's like seven or eight or whatever. Six or seven, but how old she was, but clearly she was older. And so then he goes to the other one, and tries to kiss her. And the grandma was sitting like right next to me, and I'm like, oh, God. I see Anna's face, too. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it never fails that everywhere we go, like for vacation, it literally always rains. It is currently raining. Well, it, I think it's starting to stop now, but it was raining like really, really bad. And now it's starting to stop. But I just got ready. Bubs is yelling at me. <laughs> um, I just finished getting ready and Anthony's getting ready right now. We just got Bubs ready. And now we're about to go to Legoland. So I'm super excited. I've never been. I've heard good things about it. Um, I don't really know what to expect, but we have to be there by 11 o'clock um, So we still have like a couple of hours to kill um, I decided to wake up at 6 a.m. bright and early this morning, but Since we have a couple hours to kill we were gonna go to HEB and get some things Before we went to the like Legoland area, but I'm thinking what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna go to like where we're supposed to go for Legoland and then we're just gonna walk around that area and just see because it's like on the river walk so we're gonna like see what shops are over there and stuff like that because yesterday we wanted to go to the river walk and just like walk around but we didn't know how to navigate over there so we ended up going to that splash pad that you guys seen hopefully this weather kind of gets a little bit better because as you guys can see it is very much gloomy and rainy and wet and nasty and whatever so I also look a hot mess only because we are soaking wet 10, I think. <laughs> you see the dinosaur? You see him? Whoa. Are you sleepy? Baba, look at me. He looks so sleepy. So we came to the mall like super early um, because we wanted to, well really because if not then Bubs would have tried to go to sleep. But basically we came to the mall really early and there's nobody in here at all. But this lady just stopped us and she basically for us to do a tour of this hotel that she's doing, she got us tickets to this dino thing, tickets to, what was it? The dino thing, the zoo, a boat ride. Is that it? Yeah. And so we, we switched out lunch for a while. Too. Yeah. So it was gonna be um, just the boat ride and then the dino thing and then lunch, all for twenty bucks. 
and then we were like oh well, we we're thinking about going to the zoo whatever and so she instead of the meal she threw in the zoo and so we got all so basically two tickets for each of those things for 20 bucks and we just have to do or she said meet her back there at like two and then she's gonna have us do like this little um tour i guess it's like this resort and they're gonna have us do like a tour and then we oh and we get two free nights at that oh, place shit, right. yeah. so like there was like a whole list of places so we can come back here we can go to it was like orlando florida or like just like all the known places i guess and we can have two free nights there too so that's pretty cool i was like that's pretty good for only 20 bucks so now we have more things that we can do today other than just sea life in legoland and be sure to shoot the scary spiders <laughs> hurry hurry so i can escape gotta shoot them Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him! <laughs> shoot him! Bubba! He's like... Uh. They caught me using my camera in the little ride thing. They said, no camera usage, please. Dude, these are all Legos. Imagine having to dust all of this. Look, Bubba! Wow, look! What is it? Whoa, you see all the little people? Oh, push the button. What does it do? <gasps> Whoa! Whoa. Mini land. The detail. It's like crazy. Whoa. How cool. That's not daddy. <laughs> Babe, come on, Papa. Look, there's more this way. He looked at it. He goes, Daddy. <laughs> this way, Papa. Whoa. There's so much stuff and like literally not a single soul other than workers in here. <laughs> like there's, oh look, there's big Legos. That's what they were talking about. Elias, come here. Bubba, look. <laughs> that's not mama. That's, <laughs> you think that's mama? Seen him climb so quick. Whoa! Are you gonna go down? Set, go! about how that lady she was like oh well you can um get all of these tickets for just 20 dollars well we just sat through like a two hour literally a two hour presentation of this whole timeshare thing and like we don't go on vacation i didn't know this was a thing apparently anthony knew it was a thing and he was like baby you have to keep me strong like we can't 
give in to these people and if you don't know what it is basically it's just this whole vacation package where you get like points and you use the points to buy your hotels and you're supposed to save money and you can pass down to your kids and blah 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 it's a whole thing and we just sat through a two hour presentation and then I kept Anthony strong. I held by my word. I almost because, got my ass. Man. Yeah, he was like, towards the end, he was like, oh, I don't know, I kind of want to, I kind of want to. And I was like, no, like you told me to keep you strong. So I'm keeping you strong. And I was like, and then they, they literally brought in like three or four different people, like back to back. And he's like, oh, well, such so and so is gonna, you know, give you a little bit more information or something. And then they would try to talk us into it. And I was like, no. Like at the end, I was literally like getting annoyed. I was like, I'm pregnant. My son is throwing a fit in this room. Like I'm trying to get up out of here. So anyways, I'm out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, so we almost got bamboozled into doing that. But we did get all of our tickets and it was only 20 bucks. So we basically just wasted two hours of our day. But we got tickets for the for the low, but at this point like we should have just paid for the freaking tickets But I mean it is what it is I guess but now we're gonna take bubs back to that park that has The splash pad um, because it has like a regular park too, but then it also has Obviously like the splash pad area and all that kind of stuff So we're just gonna take him to get some energy out because he did have to sit there for that entire like two hour presentation and towards the end, he was like not having it at all. So, anyways, I'm gonna stop talking because I'm out of breath. And we're walking to this park instead of driving and it's like a 10 minute walk. So, anyways, that's it. <laughs> Once again, came extremely early and there's nobody in here. So we get this whole thing to ourselves. <laughs> Ew, that one has fur. I think some, like most dinosaurs have fur. They, yeah, I remember you saying something about that. Or feathers. Maybe. Oh, feathers, yeah. Because they're like, I think closely related to like chickens. Some shit like that. Really? I think so. I wonder if that one says something about it. Whoa, dude. Whoa, look, help daddy, baby. Help daddy. Good job. So this thing's updated. <laughs> You're looking right at me, dude. Dude, look. 
there's a big one. Bubba, look. Whoa. So cool, huh? What does he say? What's he saying? <laughs> He's barking. You go, dude. Color? That was fast. Is that just the first one that you seen? Yeah. <laughs> that one is pretty cool. Is that the one you want? Go ask daddy. Show it to daddy.
And so I was gonna send him 10 bucks and he goes 40. And it looked at him like, hell no. And he goes, okay, okay, 20, 20. And so I think we got how many bracelets? Five bracelets and a necklace, I think, something like that. And so we were like, okay, 20 bucks, like that's not bad. But then he had me sign my name right after Anthony and he tried to get me to cash up him again. I was like, mm-mm, I was like, same bank, same bank, same bank. <laughs> and he's like, oh, okay, okay, okay. And he just kept going. I was like, that man really just tried to get. It was a Buddhist monk too. <laughs> yeah, and like he really was trying to get that money. Anyways, yeah, that's just a little update because I feel like it's just all montage stuff of us like going through the dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. I mean, of us like doing what we're doing. But he did love that dinosaur. I'm very happy because we, when coming into this, we didn't know about like what we were gonna do really. Like we didn't really know like what there was to offer. And then whenever that lady stopped us and they bamboozled us into that two hour presentation yesterday. Yeah, she literally gave us some stuff to do. But uh, she mentioned the dino thing and so we went through that today and he loved it. We ended up buying him a little red dino. And he was just, he was just so happy the whole time and it just makes me so happy seeing him so happy. And like, oh wait, <laughs> keep shaking. But. Anyways, so yeah, now we're just wasting time and then we're gonna go to Ripley's, believe it or not. And we have tickets to the regular Ripley's and the, what else? Was it the Wax Museum? These are like freaky. Oh my God, what if she just moved? <laughs> Taylor? Is that tall? I guess. He can beat you up? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> What do you think, Bubba? Can we touch him? Can I touch you? That's weird. Uh, like looking into their eyes is scary. Like look into their eyes. Like look into his soul. Oh, maybe not his. <laughs> like, right? Bubba, say hi. And then there's us. Huh? Weird looking in your eyes. I know. It's the eyes that make it weird. The the like realisticness of it. It's weird. I'm just scared that one of these are gonna be like a person yeah. and then they're just gonna ah. <laughs> Is that your homie? That's your homie too? <laughs> Mr. Lincoln. Look at like the details. I'm still like, I feel like I'm holding a camera in these people's faces. Oh my. Why did they pose him like that? <laughs> they did him dirty putting him like that. <gasps> oh. Is he dead or he's just injured? He's not dead. He got a hole in him. That's an injury. They'll be missing legs and still come home. He's okay. He's gonna be all right. <gasps> Look, dude. Ah. Whoa. Whoa, dude. Who is that? Is that the Joker? Oh my god, I know, this is a crazy one. That is so creepy. Is he scary? Is he scary? Yeah, him. Picture with the minions. Say cheese. <laughs> cheese. Good job. Cap. How you doing? Mr. Thor. How do you do? No. Bro, look. Look who it is. Is that Captain America? Look at the Hulk, dude. Whoa. 
I know. That's so crazy. I can't get over like he has chest hair, bro. Like look at his face. Just that looks so mean. I love him though. Ant's making us go in a scary park. Bubba's is gonna cry. Look, he's already sad. Look, he's already scared because of that thing. And you wanna take him? If he starts crying, we're leaving. If any of these jump at me, where'd you go? Oh my god. None of these better jump at me. I'm gonna lose. And getting ready bubs just took his first nap and today we're going to the zoo and i'm super excited because it's outdoors and it's halloween themed or not halloween themed but like fall themed i guess like they have like different festivities and was naming them i kind of blacked out a little bit don't remember much but they were all halloween themed i know there's something about a picking a pumpkin and some other stuff i don't i don't remember exactly what it is but i'm excited we're going to the zoo <gasps> hey Bubs is brushing his teeth and he's got his little crocs on. You're so cute. I love you. Are you ready to go see monkeys? Uh, uh. Ah, ah. Ooh, ooh. Ah, ah. And Ant apparently is wiping his giblets. <laughs> <laughs> you better cut that out. <laughs> Papa, he's not even looking at it. What is a monkey say? Yeah. <laughs> he already has both shoes off, one sock off. Tell me about it. What else happened? That's gross. He like paused. <laughs> Look, now here he comes. That's disgusting. <laughs> like even he has a stink face. <laughs> oh no, sir. 
mad at us for talking oh, shit. It was eating its own poop and we were talking shit and then it tried to pee on us. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault you're eating shit. <laughs> oh yeah, look, you can see. Me and Scott be chilling. For real. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> So long story short, the zoo was absolute trash, and so then we left, and we went, where did we go after that? Back to the hotel, and we kind of just BS'd the entire time, and we went to the pool, and did like some stuff like that, and then it was like four o'clock, and Bubs was like going crazy inside of the hotel room, because he just has so much energy, so now we're trying to find something to do. So we were gonna go back downtown, or to the mall area, and go to the Ripley's thing, but, it was like stupid dummy packed like I'm talking like we went to two different parking garages and both of them were full and that was just too many people for our liking so now <laughs> Anthony literally just started driving in one lane and just wherever the lane took him that's where he went and we somehow ended up in this it's called St. Paul Square and there was some event going on and I don't know what event it was but we started driving to it and then we ended up having to turn around so now we're literally just driving and i don't know where we're gonna end up going we're kind of just gonna go with the flow and just see what happens and we were gonna go eat but neither of us are hungry i'm definitely happy that that lady gave us the tickets to that because if we would have had to pay full price for that it would no would not have been good the forward zoo is way better i think and they had like little events going on that was like it said, oh, pick a pumpkin, and then we went to go pick a pumpkin, because Elias loves pumpkins, and I was thinking they were gonna give him like a little mini pumpkin. No, it was something like picking a box, and then inside the box was like a prize, and I was like, this is not even, that doesn't make any sense. And then it said a pumpkin patch, and all it did was take you to a restaurant that had like a couple pumpkins out front, and like that was the pumpkin patch, and I was like, that doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. We found somewhere, we were driving on the highway and we both looked over to the side and we said because it was literally hella kids and hella pumpkins and so we literally, <laughs> there was like big ass letters and it said San Antonio Pumpkin Patch so it was like find it and then now we're here walking up to it and so hopefully it's not sold out and hopefully it's fun because we did no research on it whatsoever we're literally just walking straight up to it so <laughs> hopefully it's better than driving all the way in downtown and doing that whole route because I was not not going at all.
lot of fun. Like I'm actually really surprised at that place for it being like literally a last minute thing. I was not dressed for the occasion at all. I asked this girl to take our pictures um, and my hair was like a hot mess. I couldn't stop sneezing the entire time that I was in there. But other than that, it was a lot of fun. That big like jumpy bouncy thing that was in the, in the middle, I feel like that kind of made it worth it. He's laughing at me. Every time I film, even when we're at home, he just screams. He's literally laughing. Um, but the big jumpy thing in the middle, Anthony went in there with him, and he, and he was going crazy in there. Like he just kept like laying on the ground, and he was like trying to jump. But Ant said that the other little kids uh, did not care, so like we couldn't let him jump by himself. But. Yeah, it was pretty fun. Now we're gonna go eat and then go back to the hotel because it's already 6.36. So we spent what, like two? I think we left the, the hotel like two hours ago, right? But we were there. Shit on. I think it was like four something and then that was whenever we left. So it's been like two hours, so that was pretty good. And we're leaving tomorrow morning, so like we're not doing anything tomorrow. So today is technically our last day. So anyways, the only thing that we're about to do now is just go eat and then go back to the hotel and put this little boy to sleep. Cause he's over here screaming. Look. Tell me about it. Yeah, tell me about it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> 